Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a Red Dragon keyboard, the K530 Pro. And I have the K530, but the Pro is the wireless version of the 60% from Red Dragon. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Now starting with the box, we can see a very different Red Dragon. Why? Because we have what appear to be double shot, if not die sub, but they're non-shine through keycaps. What? What? From Red Dragon? What? So this is an interesting 60%. I've got a couple of other Red Dragon 60%. Some of the older ones, um, like this one. This is the K617, and I know I have it keyless right now, but I've actually modded it. This thing sounds extremely good for a plastic keyboard. Now, it is just a time with hot swap socket, but I, I'm using it as one of my baselines for uh, switch testing. Anyway... With this one, we have wired 2.4 and Bluetooth availability. And we have, like I said, this is, uh, from what I've seen from Red Dragon, this is fairly new. They're starting to catch up uh, to other manufacturers that are saying, yes, we, you know, we can have RGB and we can also have non-shine through keycaps. And the RGB just serves more as an accent around the keys. And this appears to be kind of like the Godway colorway or God's eye. What's that called? I don't even know. But this is a um, somewhat familiar colorway. So, um, all right. So it does have, this is the newer one. All right. So we should find some dampening. And it looks like we'll find three and five pin hot swap compatibility, which is nice. I may actually uh, exchange this 60% Red Dragon for this one as a baseline if I can make it sound um, as good as I need it to. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. All right, we've got a uh, white USB-A to USB-C cable. And I guess it's to match the body of it. We have some few extra switches. Oh, oh, no. Wow. Okay, so these are, they're branded Red Dragon, but these are Otemu Silent Peach switches. So these are a linear silent switch. Now, these aren't awful. I just, I guess I got, I've been spoiled by, by Bobo, by Gazzy switches. Well, this feels squishy. See how I can, I can press down, but then there's more that I can press down. I don't know if the silicone that they use to dampen these is just too soft, but when I do it with the Boba, it's one swift action. It, it stops. It almost like feels almost like there's a compressor there because it doesn't feel this feels organic this feels squishy whereas a boba gum feels more mechanical it doesn't feel like i'm squishing a bug underneath so now this is interesting because i've got to say if i'm not mistaken this is the first silent switch keyboard from red dragon so um, i'm interested color me interested and we got decent wire keycap pullers as opposed to the plastic ones and a switch pull. got some stickers gotta love our red dragon stickers ready for battle oh this is i guess these are stickers too ah hey. did not realize these are stickers those are actually not bad maybe i uh, will use in a sticker bomb one of these one of these days so this is the draconic pro this is the k530 all right so off of the bat, this feels much more soft. Like, pick this up. This feels like a like nothing. I mean, if I had to guess, this would be like 250, 300 grams, not even a pound. This one, this one definitely feels um, weighty. It feels like it, it, it weighs at least a pound, maybe more. Um, I'm actually surprised at how well it feels. Now I'm taking a look at these legends and I've got to say, I think they're pretty nice. They're actually, all right, we're dealing with an OEM profile. I would have liked to see seen this in a cherry profile, but I guess beggars can't be choosers, eh? But let's go ahead and see. These are double shot. Wow. All right, Red Dragon. Very nice. So I'm going to guess probably that's laser at the sub legend. But these are double shot. What? 
They are 1.5 millimeters in thickness. What is going on? Red Dragon, slow down. You're going to give me a heart attack there. This is, uh, this is pretty... <laughs> I was not expecting this. I, I got to say, I am surprised. Um, so. <laughs> this was uh, probably one of the nicest out of the box. Red Drag is, well, I guess I got to put a pin in that silent ones. Well, this is the only silent one. Because I do like the... Um, their latest 65%. Uh, what? I can't remember the model of it, but it's the Pro SE, and I've done a review of it. It's got a semi translucent black uh, body, but and it's got a uh, black and cyan keycaps. But that one, I don't know. I, I might have to compare the two head to head because this one would probably give it a run for its money. All right, and as we can see, we have the um, Otemu style hot swaps. I mean, the the latest revision of Otemu style hot swap sockets that are actually compatible with all three and five pin switches. So, oh, and we have a very thick, what looks like silicone dampening pad between the plate and the PCB, and we have an open cell foam down below. We also have flush RGB LEDs. Uh, let's see how bright they are with the switch. Oh yeah, that's much brighter. All right, so the brightness is pretty good. And as you can see, you can still see it kind of shine through the edges of the keycaps. I can't get over the fact that this is All right, well, the stabilizers still need a little work, but come on, let's give credit where credit's due. So anyway, this 60% um, is looking very nice. We've got a pocket for the dongle down here. And I like how they're starting to match, color match everything. Uh, we've got one set, one pair of feet. And we've got our control panel on the side. We have a charging indicator. And we have that, which I'm going to guess is probably um, trying to pair. It'll probably come on once it pairs. But, okay, we only have two Bluetooth slots. So, Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2. So, for those that require multiple Bluetooth devices to one keyboard, do note that this only has two. So, we do have the, um, for the most part, I've seen this mapping on a lot of them. Um, On a lot of 60 percent now we do have the function one and the function two which we'll have to see which one actually works for the arrows um usually what they'll do like you could see here you have one sub legend and two sub legends so function one is going to be f10 function two is going to be the light uh, i think it's brighter or change the light effect well we'll take a look at that but i've got to say it's a solid little keyboard it, it's just, um, although you can definitely feel that the battery is on this side because it definitely weighs, it's heavier on the right side than it is on the left. So the battery is probably right around here. Hmm. I've got to say, I am really, um, really impressed with this. shot as well I mean the legends on these are not bad at all I'm actually like I said I'm I am pleasantly surprised by the quality all around on this red dragon let's get technical today we took a look at the red dragon k530 pro se it is a 60% three-mode keyboard with two Bluetooth device slots. 
It is a three and five pin hot swap compatible. It comes well dampened with both plate and PCB silicone and a open cell foam for the case. It comes preloaded with Red Dragon silent switches, either the Peach, which are linear, or the Lime, which are tactile. It includes a 1600 milliamp hour battery, PBT double shot keycaps in the GMK Godspeed colorway. The keyboard weighs in at 601 grams. The chin sits at 20 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 25 millimeters, providing for default typing angle of six degrees. Raising the back up using the included pair of feet will give you 32 millimeters above the typing surface with a typing angle of 10 degrees. This keyboard retails for $74.99. All right, so today we took a look at uh, the K530 Pro SE. Um, I couldn't remember the name of the, uh, the color away they're copying here. It's very similar to um, Godspeed by GMK. Though I gotta say these are for a pre-built um, in stock less than a hundred dollar keyboard. These are some of the um, better keycaps that I've seen. Uh, the Legends are really nice. They're double shot. They're 1.5 millimeters. Um, and the fact that you can get this pre-built with silent for a lot of people, this is going to be pick it up, take it out of the box and go. Um, now, granted, if you're like me, you're going to make the mistake of putting it up to your ear, and you're going to hear a little bit of um, leaf pain. Um, that's definitely one way to, to hear it. Um, Lubing the switches will get rid of that. Having the steel plate kind of amplifies it, but if you're just going to have it on your desk um, in an office environment, it's really... You know, the stabilizers would need a little tuning, but for the most part, I don't think you're going to have any co-workers complaining about uh, noise. Um, I, uh, I like where Red Dragon's going. Uh, they have the 3 and 5 pin hot, hot swap compatibility now, um, so you don't have to worry about it. They're not, I believe they're still using Otemu hot swap sockets. They're different, but uh, they are, you can put 3 and 5 pin pin switches in there no need to clip off the legs no need to worry about the pins being too wide so it's a uh, it's nice to see them improve their game and they're really coming out with uh, much better products and they're taking feedback I know I've I've been working with them I'd say probably close to probably close to 10 months and I know that they have listened they, they watch my videos they you know they they will like give me feedback on certain parts or like you know if i if if they uh they think i missed a feature or if they think you know that hey did you know that it can do this instead of that or so it's it's nice to know um i do work with some companies that i don't think they even take a look at the video honestly i just send them the link they're like oh yeah hey thanks so it's like or Maybe I'm just not <laughs> far up enough on the uh, totem pole. Who knows? Anyway, um, again, you know, so like I said, Red Dragon sent me this out. They, they sent me out a few keyboards, and I'm kind of catching up. I think they have, I think they're preparing to release a new slate of keyboards. Um, these are refreshes of their existing ones. I have the original, well, the original last year's version of this one, the K530 Pro, um, and it's... It's a significant difference. This is much heavier, better switches, better keycaps. Um, it's just better construction. Uh, they do need to come better with their software, uh, but because a few of the units that I've been seeing lately, they don't have any remappability. The software is really only there for macros and to select which um which light colorway you know which way you want your lights uh, lit up so i um i gotta say I, I i even like two or three years ago that's the 60 percent that the that was this solid out of the box there was no way you'd find anything like this for under a hundred dollars even a even a plastic one so the um the hobby's definitely changed and it's 
it is becoming, in my opinion, better. There's more options, so a lot more people can be part of the hobby, which I think is important to helping the hobby grow. And I think that Red Dragon, though they kind of try to straddle, you know, two worlds, um, I think they accept and they understand that, you know, yes, there's gamers and yes, there's, you know, programmers, technical people, but there's a lot of crossover between the two and, you know, you can make both worlds happy. Though I did, I was, <laughs> while I was looking up about uh, specs about this keyboard, I wanted to find out. That's one thing, 1600 milliamp hour battery, it's a little too small, but I saw the um, listing on Amazon and one of the reviews was three starred and said this would be 100% perfe perfect if it wasn't for those keycaps. And it's like, I actually think these are better than shine through, but again, that's personal preference. Um, I think one thing that Red Dragon could do, and I think they have enough room within their profit to do it, would be to include two keycap sets with their keyboards. Then you're going to make everyone happy. You can have the nice, you know, the, the obviously don't make them too thin and cheap, but the shine through keycaps for those that want shine through. And then a nice, you know, it doesn't have to be an entire keycap set. It's just, just the keys for the keyboard. Boom. I don't know. That that would be my thought because obviously I read that, that review and I was like, what? I'd actually give this, you know, four stars because of the keycaps, not, um, not, be, not because of, you know, not a lower score. I'd give them a better score because of the keycaps, not as opposed to, not, I'd give them a good score because of the keycaps, so, but that's just me. Anyway, I, I, like I said, I like where Red Dragon's going and I like what they're doing and they're paying attention. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, give you guys a stock sound test of this 60% silent on board. And um, hopefully you guys like it. I will be coming back to this one. Got a lot of interest in modding some of these. I don't want to say cheaper, but on the, 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 the more inexpensive sideboards and really trying to bring more life out of them. And I think I've come up, not necessarily with a formula, but a few simple steps that can take a lot of these boards uh, to another level as far as sound and feel goes but right now i'm just going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of the k530 pro se and until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on